にちは、斉藤美希です。My name is Miki Saito. So I just got this、uh, Suzuki Plastic Shinobue, which I recommend to all the beginners. What to do when you first receive your、uh, first Shinobue and how to practice it to make a sound?、Um, first of all, you need to hold the Shinobue correctly. So, what you want to do, if this is the audience, you want to face the right hand side and then do this. Carry your shinobu on your left shoulder and then look at the audience and then bring the shinobu to you. So, your neck goes like this and that. And then, first, your fingers. Your left hand finger, index finger, goes to the first. Top hole, then boom, boom. Your thumb of your left hand finger location is actually really important to secure the shinobu. And if you are facing the mirror and if you can't see your left thumb, that's not correct. You want this to be up, like sticking out here. And your fingers need to be flat, not like this. So, you don't want to play with your fingertips. So, you're gonna be actually sealing the holes with. If I can put this like. like I'm gonna squeeze it. I don't squeeze it like this when I'm playing. But just so that you can see the indentation of the holes here, here. So, not at the tip, but at the crease. This left hand as well. No. Fingers flat, not like this, round. Right hand thumb, it doesn't really matter where this one goes. Left, sorry, left hand pinky finger goes under, kind of dangle under the shinobu. This one is up. When you are using your right finger to seal the holes, or even one hole, but when you are not using the right fingers to seal those three holes, then you're gonna use the, this pinker, pinky finger to gonna put the pinky finger here at the very bottom hole, just for balance, not for sound, so that. You can balance this so you won't be like flying away. So, the point of balance is here. You want to put this actually tightly against your lower lip. You know, you might read somewhere that you know you want to put it like under here, like right here. That's too low, it's more like covering the lower lip, not completely, but just close. But it's, I'm putting this against my lower lip. And this is another place that you're balancing. And finally, this is the place I would balance if these three fingers are not using, not, not being used to seal. So, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, so you want to adjust the position to make sure you're in the right, right spot. There are two ways to adjust, adjust the position of the shinobue up and down adjusting, and then rolling of the shinobue to adjust. Those two ways. You're gonna combine them to get the very best spot of the, the position of the shinobue so that your breath will hit this blowhole in just the right spot. And that just the right spot is very tiny, like a millimeter, like half a millimeter even. Just a little bit of thing makes a huge difference. 
So you need to really be careful or be paying attention. And at the end of the day, you can't really remember how that feels or the right when you hit the right spot. So basically what it is, is you have to listen to it and then adjust, you know, up and down or this. This position, when it's not, you never play like this, but when this is rolled out towards the audience, it's called kari. And when it's rolled in towards you, it's meri. When, that, when you hit the spot, your breath will just go smoothly into it. Like there's an open door and you just go in. When the breath is not hitting the right spot, you feel like you're trying to get in through the like closed door, like hidden. That's how it feels, how the breath feels like. It's just like hidden, hidden, and I can't go in. That's the feeling. So you want to find a place that's open, the open door space that your breath will just go in and feel out the whole entire shinobu and just like the sound just, and you know it when that happens. So you want to find it, you know, continue to find it. At first it's gonna be hard for probably a long time, you know, like months maybe. You want to start with six, which is this. This is six. This is an easy one to make a sound with. So it, uh, it was okay. That was okay, but it wasn't wide open space that I want to have. So that was horrible. So I just got this new book, like I just literally opened it like five minutes ago. So I don't really know the spot for this yet. Because every shinobue is different. The maker is different. Although this is a plastic one, so you know, if you have identical shinobue, Suzuki, Shinobue 8 Honchoshi, then it's gonna be the same one. But I'm gonna continue to find that very spot. That was the best one that I've done today so far with this. So I'm like ever so slightly like adjusting. I'm going to do cutty a little bit, a little bit merry, more merry. If you do too merry, too much merry towards you, it's gonna go flat like this. See, that's almost like half a step lower than you should be. So you can't do that too much. The very best spot. So, you know, Shinobue practicing is nothing glamorous. As for me, at least. I would just do, like forever and ever sometimes for an hour I don't get to play music you know like or something because I feel like even if you can play the song if the the tone doesn't sound good so you know I think that you know this this thing and using the body for breath and those things are very, very important that you should be really concentrated on. You know, just one note, beautiful tone. Look for the right spot. So once you feel like, uh, I'm pretty good with the six, then you're gonna add, add five. This is five. Then you would probably do that for a long, 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 long time. And you feel kind of, mm, I think I got this. Then you want to add four. <laughs> Doing six, five, four, to me is easier than just trying to hit a four right off the bat. Like,
because I believe that six and five, if you get this, the Shinobuya is already vibrating. So that when you add the four, it's already vibrating. So you can do four easier. So I would do six, four, five. And if you could continue to do like six, four, five. Six five four. So six five four. So you want to practice that way the lower octave. So don't even want to try the higher octave yet because if you try to like go to the higher octave one. You're just gonna get, you, you're just gonna start pushing. Like, you gotta learn how to get that door open here so that breath will just easily go without you trying to like force it, you know, to a, the opening that's this little, like forcing yourself into this. Thing. So, you don't wanna do that. So, you want to learn how to find the spot. That's what's most important in playing Shinobue and re having this relaxed. Some of the direction, even this this direction that came with this shinobue, I love this shinobue, but it did say in this Japanese thing that you want to spread this lip like this way. I don't do that, or I, because I did it that too much. When I first started, like, okay, yeah, okay. I read those directions and go, you know, you know, like, this is horrible. Don't do this. You know, like, just tight. That's, you know, that's horrible. You're gonna get a horrible sound and you get in a bad habit and you have to, like, it takes months to undo the damage. So, all the great Shinobu players do not have tension. Diaphragm breathing. You know, it's diaphragm breathing that you. That if you ever see stress reduction class or something or take stress reduction class or yoga class or you know even running the deep breathing the low breath low breath not here here that's what you need for this too singing too thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question let me know thank you